Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913. And Sakuramika16. And we're Let's Play Okami! In the last episode, we started our side giant quest. side quest episodes. Okay. We beat the Nine Tails. Yes. Waka. Yes, all that. You can't bloom coral, Pete. What are you going to do? I tried. Anyways, uh, now we're here back in the Water Dragon Palette uh, Garden. And we're getting ourselves some, uh... Treasure! Treasure! Supposedly, there's a stray bead here. Look at that. Speak of the devil and it shall... Appear. ...do stuff for you. It shall make... ...rules. So now there's only one more... Stray bead in the Water Dragon Palace. In the palace. Water Dragon Palace. Yep. The treasure box, box, what about it? Gas of mermaids. What? What does this have to do? Oh, bring, bring old, old age. age, huh? Hmm. hmm. Was there someone looking? Better not to open come? that box. Yeah, I don't want to be old yet. I mean, every year I get older, but I don't want to get that old. But was there someone looking for that old box? Hmm. Or, the, or to become old again? We will have to find out. And now let's talk to Okahime for probably the last time. You okay, hey, babe? Babe. Aww. Babe. Oh. Yeah. Well, thank you for doing that, because we beat Nine Tails. Thanks for your help. Protecting the people of the sea. Oh, little Queen Oto. Yes. Glory to the Dragonians. They say that after every time she talks. Yeah. Kind of annoying. So, Wada was her husband. And, and she's having a baby. Oh. Well, I don't think they spit that out yet, but thanks for Yes, they did. You just said it? Yeah. Oh. Fair enough. Yay! A stray bead! Then that's all we need is to talk to her. She said she's Prego's with Wada's baby that will probably appear in Okami Den! Wouldn't that be awesome? It probably... I'll let you know. Yeah, anyways, now we're back o out here, and then there's a thing over here. We can cut them, yay! Yay, on the beach, and we want to grab this thing. Long spot. And then we're going to go to Urme uh, Ur Urashima. Urashima's house. Not Urameshi. Not Urameshi, which I keep saying. Anyway, 40, that's pretty good. Yeah, you don't really need this sun out if you don't need it, but whatever. So you find Urashima. Yeah, Urashima's house. Away! Look at that nice transition. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the demon from Only Island is Treasure gone. Box. Here's this box. As you can see, his wifey is really old, but not in him. Court. That's weird. Yeah, you drowned in the dragon palace. Oh, his oh. body won't get older. Yeah, well, you look funny, young. You look funny looking. Yeah, yeah now you looking. can. Now he can return to normal. Holy oh, crap! Oh man, he ate a lot. You look all right for an old man. Yeah. At least the barrel isn't around your gut. Oh. Oh. And who says we don't do good? Nobody. Nobody says we don't do good. Oh. Oh, stray bead. We get another stray bead. Our stray bead already is at three. Stray three bead per episode. episode. Yeah, look at that. All right, we're back on Shinsu Field. We're, we're gonna talk to, to Ida. On. Yeah, we're gonna race Ida. 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 Rabbit season. Duck season. No, I'm just joking. And we're, a gimmick ooh, a gimmick gear. gear. Someone was looking for that. They were. Now, this guy is actually very hard because of the layout of this place and the route that he is going to take. So, yeah, he's just talking he about... fail a lot. Yeah, I fail I a whole lot. I saw him fail a lot. So, basically, I'm just going to cut to the one that I did really good at. Seamlessly, if you will. Come on, Ida, Ida, whatever your name is. Ida. I want that gimmick gear. I know someone who's looking for it. Oh, what the fuck? 
Oh, right. Ow, you bastard. Right, you need to stop hitting those things. Yeah, he's a bastard. Same thing Cheater. like... Same thing like, uh... Hayate. You have to catch him and do whatever. I think this is... Yeah, this is the third time we fight him. Did face you him. mean Hayato? Hayate. I thought Hayate was the thief. No, he was the runner. I remember because he runs with karate. So, yes, we just beat... Oh. Ida. 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 It's an I. I just figured it's Ida. Ida. You don't pronounce the I the same way. Alright, alright, alright. So he's gonna give us his lucky charms. The gimmick gear. The gimmick gear, yes. Oh, no, not lucky. Little brother. Not lucky charms the cereal, but actual lucky charms. Sadly. Okay, I get it. We're num I'm number one. Damn right. And you keep running, maybe you'll beat me, but I doubt it. Unless you use those pine cones, because you're a cheat. Yeah, they're and not holy, pine cones. Holy crap, we got sea urchin things. Where we got 400. I'm going to max out my ink. <laughs> Look at that. That's the first time I've ever maxed out anything in this game. Because you never went around and did stuff. No, I did not. I kind of quit. I was like, screw it. I'm just gonna beat the game. I'm just gonna play the game, have fun playing it. Now where to? Let's see. Yeah, they want you to go up there. And as you can hear, it is kind of stormy out. That's why Shinsu Field is so dark. Yeah, and that's why Shinsu Field is rather dark. No, Orochi it's a is a stormy not day here too in our where we are. Yeah, Orochi is not coming back, but yeah. Something else is Yeah, something sinister is afoot. Yeah. Well, not sinister. It's good. You remember Waka said Ishin's anger made lightning over in Shinsu Field. Because we're going to need that lightning to get somewhere else. But that won't be for a while. Well, a couple more episodes. Okay. Bless ye. Thank you. Now right, let's Tiger, see. Stop, stop robbing now let's see. Let's go back to Saiyan City Aristocrat Quarters. Complete some more sidekicks. Yes, there's a man. You remember Gen? He's looking for the gimmick gear. So let's give him said gear. Remember Gen, the guy who lived in that huge long tower, tower with thing? with the cat call. Yeah, cat it was kind of like the cat. Yeah, it was like the seven pagodas of pagoda. Wasn't there a guy what? named? Wasn't there a guy named Pagoda in a movie? Yes. The Royal Tenenbaums, there was a guy named Pagoda. And we go here. Oh, yeah, yeah I remember what we're going to do. We're going to grab... Visit Queen Himiko. We're going to grab ourselves a... Come on, all right, there we go. We're going to grab ourselves a uh, new... Ability. Ability. We have to go see Queen Himiko. Well, she's dead, but... Let's check out her remains and make sure that, you know, stuff... Oh, okay. Yeah. I think she's in the... I think her thing is over here. Mm. I think. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm pretty she's sure. she's still in her room. Yeah, she's obviously still not dead in her on the floor. Otherwise, that's just weird and odd. Yeah. And you know what? I'm surprised we didn't take the orb with us. With us. That crystal orb could probably be used. It'd be pretty handy, you yeah. know what I mean? I mean, I don't want to sound like a thief stealing from a dead body, but that one might have been a good idea. Yeah. Might have been a very good idea. So, okay. Nope. nope. Right there are no stones. Basically, we need to find some stones and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And some water. And wawa. We need lots of wawa. Because we need uh, to figure out... to wash get our these new stones. Yeah, we, we need to A, wash them because they're dirty. And Amaterasu, you, you know... You water to do that. Yeah, you know what they say about cleanliness. It's next Close to... Close godliness. It's next to godliness. But Amaterasu doesn't like baths. Amaterasu does not like baths. So, but, you know, bathing is a relatively recent phenomenon. Uh, yeah, I guess. When? How recent, though? A couple hundred years. Yeah. I figured they washed themselves way back when. But not as often as we do now. Well, yeah, like, you know, you jump in the river and clean your body, but I'm, like, literally in a house taking a bath. That's what you mean, right? Uh, no. No, well, I'm pretty sure they've been, people have been washing each other for years. For yeah, but not, like, once a week or twice a month. Oh, week. you're talking Maybe about that. Twice a month or Yeah, I hear it. Okay, fair enough. Because uh, I was going to say, I think you're wrong, because people... 
bathe themselves, uh, they used to bathe themselves quite a bit from what I hear. From, from the old folks, Don. Nah, Anyways, as you can see, Himiko's grave is actually not in the palace. It is outside. outside. You know where that little pool was earlier. That's that where we have to go. Water. Actually, I'm pretty sure I don't know why I showed this. It was I really didn't like I skimmed through all the uh the footage that I have, but I did not like go through it with a fine-tooth comb. Otherwise, I would have probably cut that out cuz that was totally pointless. Yeah. But you learned something about bathing. Yeah, you learned that bathing is relatively... I wonder about showering. Showering must be a completely new concept. Yes. Like, it's Imatera Sue. Here's her hand... Um, her purple handmaiden. Yeah. Stop wearing purple, wearing purple. But so, she has a purple veil on this so she's purple. Yeah. So, um, basically we have to spray some water on her grave. As you can see... There's four stones there. We need to use the water from this little pool. As you can see, there's stuff happening. You cleaned it. I am cleaning it because it is dirty. You dirtied it already. I know. Unless they've been there for a while. Yeah. Oh, come on. That one hit. And we're going to get ourselves a new power of rain. Rain! Now, who said something about they needed some rain? Maybe after seeing a tree? Yeah. And look, we get to see Noragami again. Noragami! Yay! Because he's... Or she... We get two of their powers. Look at that. We yep. get two extra powers from this one. No, you just get rain. No, and the mermaid thing. The that mermaid was, thing. Yeah, where you can warp without needing stuff. So now we get the power of Deluge. Deluge. Yeah, you've heard of that one, haven't you, Ishan? And you draw a mark of war, um, uh, what's his name, and it pours like cats and dogs. We will have to try that out on some jerkheads. Aw, oh, Himiko's still sort of watching us, I guess. So let's see how this baby works. I think you probably draw horizontal lines because rain comes down. Rain comes down. Rain comes down. Well, sometimes it comes down sideways and even sometimes from up above us or something like that. You remember that no, before it's come? And but there we go. We draw horizontal lines. <coughs> and depending on how big we make them, uh, yada, yada, yada. And so we're going to use that rain technique to make someone I'm believe, believe in, in us. God. Yeah, I know. Because she's a bitch. And she's a dumb idiot who don't believe. But first, we're going to hit Gen's Tower. Let's do that so I don't have to deal with the guards telling me to get out. Yes, let's head to Gen's Tower. And get ourselves whatever the hell... Well, we'll give them the gimmick gear because we're a god. And, you know, we do nice stuff for people. Yeah, we're, I, I don't remember regular god doing all kinds of nice stuff for me. But fair enough, I guess I'm alive. So I guess he's being pretty nice. Anyways. Does he even exist? Yeah. No. Yeah, well, let's not get into that in this game. <laughs> yeah. We've got gods everywhere yeah. in this game. Yeah, we're not going to have a theo... theo uh, Logical debate. Yeah, the discussion during Okami. That's not... That's just crazy. Anyways, we will have to help Gen and give him the gimmick gear in the next episode. I will... What see. will it do? Yeah.